Well, what's your reaction to uh, to what Mr. Hovitt said yesterday? <laughs> there's no reaction because there's nothing there. Everything he said, naturally he said that. And his lawyer, he's, he's going to back up his client. Um, my daughter's, it can't hurt her because she's innocent. She still hasn't done anything. She never will do anything. And she's, she's not capable of it. Any idea why they went that route publicly yesterday? To try and, and discourage Tanya, try to see if they could maybe, I, I, I guess she still loves her husband in a way. And it, it would tear her up to think that he felt that way about her. Um, are you saying that, that you think that may be part of a, a personal message from him, kind of a way to, uh, to upset her even more? Is that what yes. you're saying? Yes. And for what reason? I don't know. I, I, maybe it's jealousy. I, I don't know. At first, he really didn't want her skating. And then, you know, on the news media, he was always backing her and everything. So I, re I really don't know what to think. Maybe he was honestly trying to help her to win her favor back because they were divorced. I have no idea what, what the problem is. All I know is she's not guilty, never was, never will be, and she's going to skate for the U.S., and she's going to win. Do you think what happened yesterday will sway public opinion against her in any way? Anybody that really knows her knows that can't be true. They know it. She's just a kid. That's all she is, and she's trying and tried for the last 20 years her best to win for Oregon, to win for the U.S., and that's it. You know, uh, last week when she gave her press conference saying she, she had no prior knowledge of the attack, she said when she found out uh, her, her reaction was a mixture of shock, disbelief, and fear. I believe that. Why? <laughs> If you were in her shoes, how would you feel? Well, I don't have the insight uh, that, that you do into where her shoes have been. <laughs> They've been pretty rough. <laughs> do you think she's afraid of Jeff and, and is part of that happening now too? Why wouldn't she be? Can you answer your own question? No. I can't do that. You may not know this, she is a very sensitive child. She has, yes, she has this hardcore front that she puts on just to keep people from knowing that she can be hurt. She can be hurt desperately. And it, it just, the people that have been showing up and cheering her on is wonderful. Just don't expect too much out of her today because she'll be in new skates. <laughs> All right, brand new skates. Yes, right. yes, she'll be in brand new skates, so it's not because she's upset or anything else that she can't skate. If I could have, I'd have, I'd have put her in a glass case or something and so that nobody could talk to her or see her. Al Harding is Tanya's dad. In one short month, he has seen his and his daughter's Olympic dream almost disappear. But there's nothing I can do. I, you know, and I, I feel so helpless. All I can do is tell her how much I love her, and I'm behind her whatever she does. A father in turmoil, a father who wants to believe and does in the innocence of his daughter. Al Harding knows her well. When Tanya left the house she shared with her ex-husband, Jeff Galuli, it was Al she turned to. Together at his home, they watched as Tanya was put on trial by the media and much of the public without any charges ever being brought against her. Have you cried for her, Al? Uh, no, that uh, there have been a few times to come close. The only time I ever cry is when she wins. The unique relationship between a father and daughter for the Hardings, it was the difficult times that brought them closer together. 
Al and Tanya's mom, Sandy, gave up everything to help their little girl fulfill her childhood dream of being an Olympic figure skater. They sold their house, moved into a trailer, and could barely afford to eat. I taught her right from the beginning, you know, that we're not out there shooting one of these deer just to be able to say we shot a deer. You know, we need it for our meat so we can live. So it didn't really bother her much that we were shooting a beautiful animal, because they are an awful pretty animal. And then she seen Bambi. The movie. The movie. Yeah. She wouldn't go hunting after that. When Tanya was 15, her parents got a divorce. She and Al remained close. They fished, hunted, and fixed cars together. She continued to skate, but she was developing a reputation as a young lady who wasn't afraid to speak her mind. I would like to have another triple flip or another triple X in the program. Don't get it. Don't do this to me today. And on her way to the Nationals, this strong-willed competitor vowed to, in her own words, kick some butt. She got a lot of ink when, when she came out and said she was going to kick some butt or whip some butt. What's your opinion of, of what she said there? Well, I, I knew she was. And uh, this just happens to be a little phrase that she happens to have. But that doesn't make her a, a vulgar, nasty, mean, dirty girl. Well, there are those who would say, well, that's not a ladylike thing to oh, say. Oh, well, yeah. But those are the, also the people that don't know how to change a spark plug in a truck either. Go away! Al has nothing to say about the ongoing investigation of Tanya, nor will he comment about Jeff's accusation that she was involved. However, he does say that he had some serious reservations about Jeff earlier in the relationship. I didn't even like it when they first started seeing each other because that was, to me, he was interfering with her career. You know, I, I didn't like him because he wasn't a bad guy, that he was a bad guy. I didn't like him because he was interfering with my daughter's career. But he stopped short of giving specifics. In the last month, Tanya's career has been, to say the least, a roller coaster ride. But it appears that somehow Tanya has managed to remain focused and as determined as ever. But her dad says all is not as it seems. You've known this woman since she was a little girl. Can you give me any idea of, of what this whole situation is doing to her emotionally? I think it's tearing her apart. The fact that the way things have happened, uh, to, and it's because of people that were so close to her. People that she really loved, and I know it's, it's tearing her apart inside that she would think that she could have been so wrong. Are you angry? Yeah, I'm angry. I'm angry at some people, and it really, it really hurts. It hurts down inside. What does that do to you to see your daughter? Oh, it tears me apart, too. I just, uh, I can't even think straight sometimes. What would happen if she doesn't get to go to the Olympics? Uh, that would just devastate her and me. Because I know this is, this is the big, this is the big skate of her life. and it would just tear her apart. Al says that the greatest moment in his life would be to see Tanya get the gold. For the simple machinist, it would be one final happy chapter in a story the world's greatest novelists couldn't have concocted. She's just gonna go do her thing. And then she's gonna bring back that gold medal to Portland. Who's the best figure skater in the world, Al? Tanya Harding. No doubt, no reservation. No, no doubt about it in my mind at all.